we are about to witness the death of a ciliate life and we shall be watching it dissipate into elements right here in front of us. This is the ciliate I'm talking about. It has lost a lot of energy trying to move through this thick mucus like substrate and having used a lot of energy it's going to die. For over a few minutes, it had been moving aimlessly. But slowly, I have noticed its tentacles giving way. Its cilia have become less moving. Its movement has become less pronounced. And it is surely going to die. And when it dies, which it will do any minute now, it's almost over with its actions. When it dies, it will explode slowly. You can see protoplasm oozing out, the body becoming swollen because the water is, in, is ingressing into it. shall soon just dissipate. He is dead. It is dead. And now water from the surrounding medium will move inside the body. And since the contractile vacuoles are no longer functioning, the body will be bloated. And soon it will rupture. And when it ruptures, all the body inclusions will be free floating. There it ruptures. From the apical part, it has ruptured, and the entire cellular substance is moving out. The cytoplasm, the protoplasm, everything is now evicting itself, liberating itself from the pellicle which had been keeping it in shape. Here, the pellicle is collapsing, giving way to the protoplasm. And the protoplasm will be in a random movement because those substances, they are still having charge difference, osmotic difference. And as a result, they shall keep on with some randomized Brownian motion for some time. Let's zoom in to see the frenzy. Nothing remains of the ciliate now in a live state other than these inclusions which have been now liberated outside and are in a constant frenzied movement. That is the end of existence of this life form. This protoplasm will now serve as nutrition for other organisms, other microbes, and he shall go back to the earth to the elements.
dear friends is the cycle of life